Someone recently asked if I could show how to do a 3D cube transition. Fortunately, there's an example of this in one of the sample prototypes that comes with the Flinto Viewer app. So these photos, you can swipe between them and it looks like you're rotating a cube around. A really nice 3D transition. So let me show you how it's done. Here's the three screens that each have one large photo on them. And I've got a transition called Next Story Photo and it's attached to a swipe gesture. Now that transition does the 3D rotate and I'm able to use that same transition on all three of these photos in both directions to accomplish this effect of swiping between three separate photos. Now instead of editing the transition to show you how it's built, I'm gonna rebuild it from scratch. So I'll go here and choose New Transition. So I'm starting with a blank slate. The first thing I wanna do is take this screen and put it right on top of the other screen. And the easy way to do that is with the Align Screens checkbox. Now I'm at the start of the transition, but I'm seeing the photo that's from the end screen. So I need to hide that. I wanna hide everything in the end screen. And actually, if I move this photo, you'll see that there's a black background behind here that covers over the start screen. When I move that, you can see what I'm talking about. So what I'm gonna do is hide this black layer by clicking the eyeball next to the layer name in the layer list. The other thing I wanna do is hide this X button because there's two X buttons one on each screen, and having them both there makes it appear slightly fatter. Okay, next I wanna do the 3D rotation. I need to hide this layer from the end screen when I'm, at, when I'm at the start of the transition. And I'm gonna do that by rotating it around so that you see the back of it, or rather you can't see it because Flinto doesn't show the back of 3D rotated layers. The only problem here is it's rotating around the center of the layer. And what it does is it rotates around the origin. If you hold Option, you can see where the origin is in any layer. And you can adjust the origin here. I want to adjust the origin so that it's placed at 0%. You'll notice that this percentage is how far across the layer the origin is placed. So 50% is the middle, 100% is the right edge, and 0 is the left edge. So with the origin placed at 0, now when I rotate around the y-axis, you see that it looks like a hinge moving from the left. I'm gonna rotate it all the way to 90 degrees, and then drag it over to the right side. That's where I'd like it to start. And you'll notice as I drag it, the perspective is such that you can't see the front of it anymore, so it's hidden, which is perfect. Now I'm gonna to go to the end of the transition, and I'll hold shift while I click this to play it in slow motion. So you can see how that photo is gonna rotate. All I need to do now is rotate the other photo so that it completes the effect. And on this one, I want to move the origin to the right edge. 100%. And now when I rotate, you see it hinges on the right edge. And I'll rotate it around to negative 90 so that it goes the opposite direction. I'll drag that over to the left side, basically reversing what I did with the other one. So now I'll toggle back. And you can see it has that nice cube effect now. So that's slow motion. I'll play it at full speed. So that's all it takes to make a 3D cube transition. To make that work in the other direction, just make sure that you click this little button here, which turns on reverse transition. And so I have that set up for the right swipe so that it works in both directions. And there's the effect once again. Very easy to set up, an impressive 3D rotation transition. And the same techniques work basically the same inside of the behavior designer. So you should be able to figure out how to do it there too.